Late in 2002, artists began to move in. Painters, sculptors, a community artist, fashion designer, theatre company, digital media resource and music studio project were all set up there. This led to a vibrant creative community that led to the realisation of many different arts projects, many of which inspired by the rich heritage of the Tudor-built Whitehall mansion. The event was able to take the audience back in time viewing a Victorian murder and meeting the characters involved. Yes. Isn't there anything you can do about the wall? Elizabeth, you know I can't do anything about the wall. There it is and there it shall stay. They were able to ask questions and eventually Aware attempted to piece the clues was. together to find the murderer. Uh. <laughs> Who killed you, dear? Well, I don't know. If I knew that, I wouldn't have been trapped here for the last 300 years. interfere could you you had to meddle in your own circumstances as well as mine well i've kept silence for the last 300 years lucy lily's fashion show decadence was also staged at whitehall an unusual venue for a fashion show each room housed a set and the performers wore and showed off lucy's designs Towards the end of the year-long project, four artists were commissioned to be part of an artist's residency and to create artworks that were inspired by the building. Ruth Gibson created ceramic reliefs from impressions taken from surfaces from the building. It's like a very structured, it's got these strong structures in it, so and just you just get hints of details. It's good on there. Yeah, the contrast you get here. The lights. Ruth also screen printed images of light cast into the building onto sheets of clay and made bowls and other objects. Sue Hall, prominent in the world of theatre set design, 
made large-scale sculptures incorporating elements derived from the history of the building. Jane Wilson collected interesting objects from around the building and displayed them in groups as an installation. Um, oh, am I just doing what I'm doing and yeah, you're doing what you're doing? Yeah, okay. that's all. Nada really Velikovic nice. and Michael I'm McNulty like created an installation in a room derived from thoughts about the difference between current building practice and building methods from the past. Alongside these artists' works, other Whitehall artists opened their studios to the public in December 2003. This attracted many visitors and uniquely gave the public access to an historically important Shrewsbury building before it was turned into private accommodation. The project finished with a huge Christmas party theme known as the Whitehall Masked Ball. Preparation workshops took place in mask making, costume making and decoration making and the main residency exhibition room gave way and was transformed into a stunning ballroom. In various costume, guests arrived and were treated to a host of entertainment, celebrating 18th century Shrewsbury culture, taking the Grand Hall back to its heyday. The project showed the extreme value of artists' studios and the collaboration between artists and their funders. Thanks must go to Shropshire Homes for their vision and will to make this project happen.
It was a golden time for the Whitehall Mansion, and sadly will probably never be repeated.